things and showing that the glass ceilings are shattered and not just really raised to create a self of water. I started this wood hoop club without feel, without having feminism in my mind. Just wanted to be in that here toy like that. I don't have any goals or aspirations. I just follow my mantra, which I learned in law school, that those who have been as in life should have more to in law. I didn't have any battle cry. I did not look or search for women who needs to be saved. Because I'm forced to think that women do not need to be saved, and they have to take my battle cry. That's what I said. I just wanted to be with God. But as my career progressed, most of the people who come to me as clients were women who had been, where, and are on the receiving end of abuses, harassments, sexual assaults, rapes, violence, uh, discrimination, and violence. I would like to think, or I would like to act, that this is just another day in my office as a lawyer. But to tell you, how can you react to someone approaching you saying that she has been violated? How can you be not attached to a story of a woman who tells to you that she has been raped? Her humanity and dignity are abused and disparaged. To tell you frankly, you cannot, no matter how hard try. This is a very good, a difficult job for us to do that. And that's why these things created me or transformed me to who I am right now. And with me, with the kind of profession, occupation, the vocation that I do, what do you think should I think, do, and act given this kind of scenario? Anyone, please? Feminism is commonly defined as a socially economic and political equality of both sexes. This actually responds to established traditions, norms, and standards that have been there throughout most of our history and unfortunately are still existing today. In fact, even well-educated parents have already configured in their minds that their children should act or do things in accordance with their respective sexes. Girls should do ballet and boys should do taekwondo. Correct? Now, I don't actually label myself as a feminist. But if being a feminist means wanting the same for equal rights for my daughter, yes, I am a feminist. If being a feminist means affording same opportunities given to my son, as well as that of my daughter, then yes, I am a feminist. If being a feminist means raising a white flag as to what my daughter should or should not wear, yes, I am a feminist. If being a feminist means sitting on the sideline, not worrying that my daughter will not be able to stand her ground, then yes, I am a feminist. Importantly, if being a feminist means that my daughter will not be represented for her brain or will be represented for her brain for what she can think and what she can do and not in any manner related to her sex, then yes, oh hell yeah, I'm a feminist. So, being a feminist for me not only means about being, being aware or knowledgeable about the rights of women, but also knowing or ensuring that my son will know how to protect these kinds of rights and that all sons should be able to protect and promote these rights. Sadly, men are usually found to be the ones who violate the rights of women, correct? Let me talk to them. Let a fellow man talk to these people. Let me go to the streets. Let me go to the cities. In fact, in parts of areas, in provinces. And allow me to spread to them 
and knowledge about women's rights, gender empowerment, gender equality, and so on and so forth. I know that women are the greatest champions of their own cause, but please allow me to fight with you. Because fighting with you will be my greatest privilege. In other words, not only being a feminist is important to each and every one, but also we must know how to fight and promote these rights. Actually, promoting these rights and protecting these rights have been the main thing. And I want each and every one of you to know that you can join me in doing this cause, in promoting this cause. It just so happened that I was given a platform, the opportunity, the knowledge, the skills to be able to spread this kind of advocacy. And I do hope that time will come that men and women will have no issue whatsoever about their respective genders. And I know if that time comes that I have done, I've done my duties, I have performed my task, and I've already achieved my mission. Traversing this path for me will be my goal in life. I will absorb every obstacle, I will suffer every pain, and I know it will be one worth it. I will stand with, with what I know, with what I believe in, because this deserves a strong and a very uh, righteous stand. Question is, how about you? Moving forward, men should be feminists because this is a movement which promotes and protects rights of all genders. Into is it that a truest, noblest, and highest cause? That's simple. That alone merits that it must be given attention and given importance. So, I have heard the saying stating that women should not be, should not take care of men. Women and men should be able to work together to be the best humans that they can be. We all know that. In fact, that gospel proof and established fact have been there since time immemorial. But what do we do about that fact? We practice it? Of course not. Unconsciously and consciously, we have allowed women to do the dirty work for us. Let us go down and get down from our high horses and do the chores. Again, being a feminist means ensuring that the glass ceilings are shattered and that raising it to another level should not be done as to create a semblance of equality. So come, join me, fight with me in this advocacy, and let's play Victor.